Hey everyone, this is Haley Huey with KWA and Fox 24. Right now, I'm at NWA Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy and I'm about to try out Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for myself. I'm a little nervous, but I know I'm with some pros right now who are going to teach me how to defend myself if something were to go awry out on the trails or at my house or anything along those lines. So I'm excited to give this a whirl. Um, okay, so this is a pretty standard way to defend yourself, what you guys are about to show me, correct? If you're on the ground. That is correct, yes. Okay, so what's the first step? Okay, so the first thing, the uh, professor is going to demonstrate a double leg takedown. Uh, and then once you're on the ground, we're going to walk you step by step on how to defend yourself uh, when you find yourself in that position. Okay. So, and this is something that could happen easily to anyone if they're out on the trails. This is a very common okay. thing. All right, so I'm excited. This is the first time I've ever so, done this. Disclaimer. So we'll We're gonna kind of go slow for we'll the first one. Slow. Okay. So he's gonna shoot for what we call a double leg takedown. And then what will, should my first reaction be? Uh, so your first reaction should be to try to create distance between you and the takedown. Okay. And there are several techniques. One of them, uh, the most utilized for that particular situation is called a sprawl where you basically throw your legs back and try to avoid the opponent from being able to grab your legs and take you down. All right. Okay, so let's first do the takedown. He's gonna go ahead and shoot for a double leg and you just gently grab, you're just gently gonna go backwards and land on the mat. Okay. Very slowly. Okay. Go ahead. Very slowly, I'm nervous. Why am I so- Ready? Ready. Okay. Ready. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. and then so th hold this position right here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is a very typical situation. It could happen anywhere on the trail while you're running. It could happen anywhere at the supermarket. The attacker here is gonna try to either beat you up or choke you. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to control his body movement, and you accomplish that by wrapping both of your legs around his body. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Yeah. Go ahead and cross your feet. Perfect. See, you oh. already have the technique. Oh. This in Jiu Jitsu is called the guard. And this is a good position for you. Okay. What you need to do now is to break his posture. You see how he's able to stand straight? Right here, he can easily break your guard and get away. Right. But by breaking his posture, you're going to make it more difficult for him. So go ahead and bring your knees towards your chest. So, like this? How, what if they're so, like, I mean, not that you are, but like, what if they're just these crazy big people and... That's an excellent question. One of the wonderful things about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is that the techniques are based on pure technique and leverage. Okay. So it's a very effective martial art for smaller opponents versus larger, stronger opponents. So, okay, so I have my legs wrapped. So you have a guard, you have, go ahead, bring your knees to your chest. Knees, okay. Did you notice how he was forced to put his arms on the floor? Yes. That's because you have broken his posture. From here, he's gonna try to choke you, attack your neck. Okay. Okay? Go ahead and do it with both arms. Your first job <laughs> is to go ahead and secure his wrist with your hands. Go ahead and wrap, it, wrap him around to where you're more like natural, like holding a beer. Okay, okay, that's all right. Yeah, this is fine. So turn, that's, that's okay? Oh, okay. All right, so from here, your job is gonna be to isolate either arm to the opposite side. So let's go for the left, for, for his right arm. So send. You wanna throw it all the way across. Yeah, right, right here across. is fine, yeah. Okay. Right there is fine. This leg, you're gonna disengage your guard, and this, this leg is gonna go over his shoulder. Oh, okay. okay. This other leg, the back of your knee, is going over your foot. Oh, and so then this is what yeah. makes him fall asleep. Turn, no. Turn. Okay, so you're gonna turn this, and try to get your foot behind your knee. Oh. Gentle. And all Gentle. you're gonna do, all you're gonna <laughs> do here is put pressure, <laughs> and, and, and extend your hips up. Okay. And then squeeze. Pinch your knees together. Oh, your like squeeze your thighs yeah, together. Yeah. Okay. And and then that's the right. that should and put them asleep. Okay, we're going to go. Go ahead. Here's me trying this full force. Okay, here we okay. go. You'd be surprised. <laughs> oh, lock. And then oh, this. And then. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And then no, 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 right right your, your left foot under your uh, right knee. Right here. Oh, I s oh wait. No, your right foot under your right. There oh, you go. I That's see. It. There we go. And then this is where so, hold on. I would hold, choke. Hold, 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 no, you're good. hold it right there. So bring it all the way back. 
And now what? And then you, use okay. Yeah. What you can do is uh, pull down on his hair and squeeze down. Oh, okay. Both, okay. both hands. And, and then do. squeeze. Yep. That's uh, that's doable. Like at the same time. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm giving this another whirl. And oh. <laughs> Oh, this way. Is that? All the way behind the knee. Oh, there the we go. Now pull that and squeeze the knees together. Okay, I feel the pressure. There you go. Yeah. There. <laughs> there. <laughs> How was it? Was it horrible? That was bad. No, he was, he was like, yeah, it was, it was a good one. Yes. <laughs> that was a good one. No, I truly feel like just in that, just this five minute demonstration, I feel like if something happened to me, then I can at least try to use this technique. Absolutely. Someone tried to choke me on the ground. So this is really fun. Thank you so much, NWA Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Everyone should check it out. Get some NWA good self-defense. Yes. <laughs> See y'all.